Hello, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will understand about the physiology of balance, how our body can be balanced. So, the equilibrium. First, in this video, we will understand about the vestibulo ocular reflex and the vestibulo spinal reflex, how our body can maintain and how our head can maintain their posture. Let's understand about the story will begin from the ear. This ear contains our inner middle and outer ear the inner ears contain a cochlea and the semicircular canal this cochlea used for the sound detection through a uh, auditory nerves while the semicircular canal is used for the balance uh, uh, sorry uh, the uh, the uh, vestibular nerve which that detect the semicircular canal a position and the movement of the endolymph while well, this is the incus malleus and strapis is the smaller bone we will use for the vibration to detect through cochlea and the inner ear and the eustachian tube is used for the regulation of pressure atmospheric pressure and internal pressure this is the middle and outer and inner ear we will understand about the inner ear Inner ear contain a vestibular apparatus is known as the semicircular canal. Three semicircular canal which that will control the head movement, like the right and right and left down movement of head, up and down movement of head, and right and left movement of head. By this showing in this diagram with a specific semicircular canal. This is the saccule and the uh, ampulla. This is the cochlea. Autolith organ are present in the ampulla and saccule, which that will lead to head position and linear movement control. Let's understand about the further. So the, the ampulla and saccule, which that is contain a uh, capula. This capula is surrounded. Uh, 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 around the hair cell with cilia it is known as the stereocilia and this cell contains cilia and the vestibular nerve which that detect the motion of the endolymph fluid when moves the in inhibition if the nerve fluid moves while the stimulate if fluid moves this is the excitation in the left side will ultimately inhibition in the right side of the uh, head because right side of the semicircular canal in the left because this is again I am drawing the up and down left and right on the basis of the semicircular canal which that and tilt to side movement it is the perpendicular to each other these two uh, secule and the juridical is involved for the detection of the movement of endolymph this endolymph will move and in this way the secule or the uretical will move and detect this endolymph movement. One can detect but the other is the same time will be impossible. So that is why. This vertical is basically 90 degrees uh, 90 degree uh, angle. Uh, so let's understand about how we can uh, detect through a nervous system this is the 90 degree will change the secule will change uh, horizontally and the vertical will uh, ver vertical while the horizontal to vertical and vertical to horizontal the secule and vertical antagonistically in this way the signal generated from the secule if it if the head will be straight posture when we will stand up and the no signal from the vertical so whenever you will uh, lay down so in this way your uh, urticle which that will uh, create the signal while the no signal from the secule in this way the endolymph basically are present in the three semicircular canal which that is one will move each time and in this way remember that things the two semicircular canal will move uh, in one time which that will lead to also detect the motion and remember that things basically uh, semicircular canal is basically uh, a, a move the endolymph and the endo, uh, endolymph will move 
will lead to uh, detect through a uh, urticial and secure. This is the left and right side of the ear. The vestibular nerve detect the vestibular ocular reflex first we will discuss. In this way the left and right vestibular nuclei will uh, receive the signal from the sensory vestibular nerve. This will lead to transmit the signal to the uh, vestibular ocular uh, center and this will uh, neuron interconnect to the oculomotor nuclei to each other as a commissure nuclear commissure uh, neuron which that will uh, lead to left side of the rectus muscle will contract ultimately the right side of the eye will also contract the left side of the rectus muscle in this the movement of the rectus muscle compensatory in this way we can move our eyes while the head will move down or left and right but the eyes will uh, eye, eyes will maintain their posture so the later rectus muscle is involved for this while the medulla is involved this is the bones and the medulla will go down the vestibular spinal reflex in this way the spinal cord is involved for to maintain the posture and balance through muscle so the muscle will maintain uh, by the contraction and relaxation on the basis of their position and that is why we can uh, control and that is the physiology of balance more and more the changes in the rate of motion during the acceleration or deceleration when we will travel in the car your urethra is sensitive to horizontal motion while the sicule is sensitive to vertical motion so the jerks and the movement the changes of the motion in the horizontally will detect uh, from the uh, urethra while the sicule is detect when the lift out or uh, lift up uh, during the aeroplane when aeroplane will move up so thanks for watching if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and share please uh, give the comment below for feedback thanks for watching bye